Here we go. Going to move up to 86 kilos. Interesting matchup. Got Clayton Foster taking on Richard Perry. I like watching Foster, man. He walks out there. He looks like he has zero cares in the world. He's so calm, so cool and collected. I mean. Well, he throws the kitchen sink at you, too. Oh, I mean, he yeah, has such that's a wide so open style. Walking out here, looks like he kind of just woke up from a nap. <laughs> He'll be in your red singlet. Richard Perry wrestling out of the Nyack in your blue singlet. Perry, a real go-getter, real grinder, likes to be in your face, hand fight hard, has a big win, showed that he's one of the better guys at this weight with a win over Duran Win. Yep, that was at the NYAC in the finals. Uh, but you got Richard Perry over Miguel Sanchez of Mexico, Andrew Sorensen, and Robert Hamlin to get to this point. He's in on a good look of cradle position here. And on a single leg, he's just going to push Foster out. But even in a position like that, Foster just comes back, jollies his way back to the center, just so relaxed. Well, make no bones about it. Foster is world class. He oh, has, yeah. He has the capability to win a world Pops championship. Pops off a Russian and on a double here. Perry, big old hips, bringing him up into an over-under position, working towards that line. Who's going to get pushed out first? That's going to be a point for Foster. Good call. I agree with that. That's a good call. Foster did a real good job having some real good mat awareness there, realizing where he was, and he's able to score. Yeah, up in uh, state side the last couple years, Foster's been runner-up at the U.S. Open, was second at the World Team Trials two years ago, fourth this, uh, this past year, but he did pick up wins over the reigning world champion and world bronze medalist at the World Cup last March. Uh, that was in L.A. at the Forum. Uh, he had an amazing World Cup tournament yeah. you know, where he sort of made his stamp on the international scene. And, you know, like I said, any given day he could go out and win a world title. Um, Clearing out of that front headlock there, Perry has Justin Grant in the corner. Both those guys wrestled at Bloomsburg University, 97-pounder and heavyweight workout partners. You know, watching Foster, too, we mentioned it before a few times, you know, he got tossed by Austin Moorhead in his quarterfinal. High, high feet, feet to back for four points, but he just got back up to his feet and tacked on some points and won that one 9-8, marched his way right back into that match. And just watching him his whole career has is, is been exciting. And he fires off an attack, he's up on a body lock, working towards the line, stepping around. That's, That's gonna be four. Nice job there by Clayton Forrester, stepping around that body lock. Kind of looked like a Quentin Wright action there. You know, Quentin right. Wright likes to no, go to those he, body locks. He hits that quite a bit, mm -hmm. actually, that body lock. Uh, you know, he's he's not afraid to throw it. And like I said, he's got such a wide open style. Yeah. You know, from the feet, he can hit double legs all day long. But when guys try to suck you up, he goes straight to that body lock. And, and that's he'll, what, he'll that's pitch what makes you over the him top. so good is that he can score everywhere. You know, you think you got you think you got Foster in a position that he won't, you don't want him, that you want him in, he doesn't want to be in. And he's there, and there's a double attack. Stepping in front. He's got that seatbelt position, stepping in front, trying to get Perry off balance. Perry's going to try and throw him on the line. That's going to be another four for Clayton Foster. So nine to one right now, but the table is going to say two. How are we going to do it? They say two, right, Emil? So seven yep. to one, Foster leads. They're going to say that was more Perry putting himself on the back than Foster putting himself, or putting Perry on the back. That's why it's two instead of four. Foster fighting that hand collar tie here. So exciting to watch him run into that single leg there. Was Perry, but able to get his foot down to the mat. Was Foster doing a good job fending that off. Nice attack. Nice re-attack there for Perry. Gets the angle he needs. But Foster catches that wrist coming down. Going to be really hard for Perry to score here. If he doesn't get two hands on one leg, and he does now. As soon as I say it, it brings it up to his feet. Nice job there by Foster. Realizing where he was circling in, and who's going to get the push out there? Foster is... On one leg. That was that's impressive. That's just some good wrestling. Yeah, that's some good wrestling. And at this high level, those are the points in the match that are really crucial that you need to see where you are and have great mat awareness and score those points. And that's sometimes what it just comes down to is who's got who's a smarter wrestler, who's got who's more mat savvy. So period ends, eight one Foster and Perry looks pretty frustrated walking yeah, to his corner. Would be frustrated. Don't know that I expected eight one. Um so yeah. fast, yeah. But, you know, a guy like Perry, too, he's a grinder, and he can, he can grind his way back into a match. You know, Foster does throw a lot at you, but sometimes puts himself in bad positions. So if, if Perry can stay in good positions here and kind of force Foster into a bad position and get himself back into the match, it's in my, in my eyes right now, it's still anybody's match. Well, you kind of alluded to it. With Foster's style, he does put himself 
I mean, the, the, the positive side is he can score a mm -hmm. lot of points in a rapid succession, but the negative side, he's susceptible to a, a lot of points a in rapid points. succession. Yeah. He can get caught. Yeah. But we're back to action here, and Foster goes for a little shrug there to start things off. Tries to run to a single leg there as Foster. Looking high crotch. Now running through an attack of his own is Perry. 222 left on the clock. Foster's got some blood. Rest gonna come out, clean up the mat here, get a little blood time cleaned up. And if you're following along, I'll give you an update on that Iowa Minnesota duel. Iowa leads at 15 to three with uh, five matches in. They started at 65, so they've wrestled the top five. Now they're going to the bottom five. Gilman and Lezak going at it right now. Just started up. Getting to action here. Again, after cleaning up a little blood time, 2.15 it remains. It looks like some more blood. And you said of Foster's demeanor, he's just like, eh, whatever. That's his that's his attitude, and that's what it looks like. He just just hanging out, just having fun. Well, Foster, he's uh, he's up training at Wyoming. Mm-hmm. Well, he lives up there in Laramie. You know, it's about three hours from here. And uh, he's just a down-home country boy. That's what he is. You know, he likes going out in the woods, hunting, fishing, that kind of thing. Shot attempt there from Foster. And again, reshot. He's in on the single. Single leg. Nice heavy hips there by Perry. Coming up to that underhook. Got to be careful here. He's trying to step in front here. Running through a knee pick. Up to a body lock. Elevate that the leg. Foster's got the position here. No score yet. There's the takedown for Clayton Foster. 10 to 1. And that'll be the match, 12 to one. Clayton Foster is gonna ice this thing away. And he is your champion at 86 kilos. And Clayton Foster, he's had a decent week. Yeah, I'd say so. Up caught on.